So, um, y'all, I have no idea how to, how to, I, like, I can't even gather my words. I just, I don't know what to think. I don't know what to do. This is definitely something that has thrown me off my game. I just got off the phone with my dad and the conversation that I had with my dad I was not expecting. But the conversation that we had, he he even suggested like he suggested this. He was like, I know now isn't the time for us to talk about this. But um, after all of this is over, I think me and you should just sit down and we should just talk it out. And I wasn't expecting that from my dad because once my dad writes you off, my dad writes you off. And y'all, this is a lot. This is a lot. And. Um, she didn't die here in my city. She actually died um, where she's from. And that's about two hours away. So the funeral home has called me um, as well as my sister. And they are um, sending services down there to pick her up and bring her back here. So um, I have to meet with my brother, my sister, my dad. And I think my cousin, my cousin is here too. So all of us are gonna meet and see where we need to go from here. Um, I've always, this is something I haven't, you know, it's not something you think about on a regular, but it crosses your mind. You're like, this day is gonna come and I just thought I would be a little bit a little bit more prepared for it I'm not like this threw me completely off like I threw me off like I don't even know how to function I don't even know like it's it's 12 46 now and I've been up since about four o'clock and I haven't eaten any I don't even have an appetite I'm literally going to grab me something to eat to make myself eat so I won't get a headache I don't know the first stages of planning a funeral. I don't want to do this. And that's all I've been telling Justin all day. I was like, I don't want to do this. I don't, I don't want to do this. I don't want to plan a funeral. I'm just so heartbroken right now. I'm gonna try to get through this without crying. I think I can. So today is, December 18th. Marley's in here. Sitting here with her. Hi. Okay, yeah, Marley's fine. So, it's been about five days. I found out last Thursday, or four days, I don't know. My, my days are running into each other. And it's been, it's been so difficult to just function, just to just to wake up in the morning because I have moments where I'm fine like I'm I'm fine like I'm going about stuff like I I don't know I'm I'm fine and then I think about it and I get so sad it's just it's just been difficult so um immediately when I found out that you know my mom passed I I had a makeup appointment for a young lady for um uh, that Saturday and this Saturday, the following Saturday and the Saturday that I found out. So I immediately text her, you know, that, you know, my mom passed and I wouldn't be able to, you know, service her. But as soon as I get, you know, everything together, I would fully refund her, her, her purchase or her, her funds. So, um, I took into consideration that, you know, what I would do in a situation like that if I you know if I you know book somebody for something and they paid me 
their mother just passed away I'm not about to hound them for anything like whenever they can get to me they can get to me so um, we were back and forth and I told her you know she was like being really sincere about everything I, you know I'm sorry that this happened to you I send you my condolences all that good stuff so I thought we had an understanding that you know whenever I got all this like just give me some time just give me some time and I will I will do whatever I need to do to refund you or whatever that's that's what I would do y'all this has been the most difficult few days of my life I like I wouldn't I had to go pick out what I'm going to bury my mother in I can't eat I can't sleep I dream about her every night it's just been so hard y'all it's been so hard this morning today's Wednesday this morning I'm sitting I'm getting Addie ready for school and my phone goes off and it's the young lady whose makeup I'm supposed to do and she's saying um, she said um, I'm sorry for everything that's happened to you but pretty much I need my refund because I can't get my makeup done now this lady lives in a million dollar home the last time I did her makeup she was bragging on a dress that cost her a thousand dollars and I was like there's no way there's no way that you are hurting for money like especially in your situation like it threw me off because I was like I had al we had already spoken about you know I was going to refund her everything whenever you know I got you know just when I had a clear mind like not a not 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 less than a week after we my mother has passed not less than a week I know the universe was telling me something about her the universe had already been telling me because I always had a weird feeling whenever I did her makeup I just it, it was something I can't put my hands on it but it was something so instantly then I just knew you know time to cut her off like I don't need her as a client in the future because if you are that inconsiderate knowing that I just lost my mother I like no telling what else you're capable of um in the midst of all of that I text my other makeup artist friend because this is the young lady that you know referenced her to me or she referenced me to her or something like that and I said hey are you doing her makeup this weekend because if you are I can just you know the funds will be in my account by the end of the week and I can just go ahead and pay you uh since you're doing her makeup and she was like no I'm not doing her makeup but how much how much was it and I was like, no, 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 no. I don't need you to do that. Like, I just, I thought you were the one doing her makeup. So I was just going to, you know, give you a heads up that, you know, I can send it over to your PayPal ASAP. And she was like, no, how much was it? And I was like, I was still just kind of like, cause I'm the last person. I don't want to ask anybody for anything. I don't even ask Justin for nothing. So if I'm if I'm not asking my man for nothing, you don't worry about to ask you for nothing. So I'm just I'm so I'm so overwhelmed with everything because yesterday was a headache, yo. Yesterday was a headache trying to find a venue to hold my mom's repast. I called 23 different places, 23 different places, and nobody could book us. Trying to finalize the obituaries yesterday, I was just overwhelmed so back to my makeup artist friend and she was just like she was standing on it she was like girl how much did you pay her and i finally told her and on the way to addy's school i got a text message do y'all know my makeup do y'all know my makeup artist friend sent the lady her refund like bro <laughs> That girl has no idea the blessing she's about to get. She has no idea. She has no idea because she didn't have to do that. Yo, yo. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to officially block her. Y'all, when y'all get confirmation of something, trust your intuition. Like, trust your gut because I see you. Where you going? Yeah, I just I just wanted to come and share that with you guys like so inconsiderate of a customer or a client to do something like that knowing 
you know what a person is going through so yeah so what do you think i'm grateful that i had this hoverboard she got oh whoa 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 all right well all right we're gonna go outside and see if we can work it it's christmas morning guys and yeah. Eddie got everything she wanted. My new iPad. You hear me? She's got her new Apple iPad. Store. Man, I gotta tell y'all what happened to Dad. He, he was like, he was about about to crash. He's like, Dad crashed, crashed and burned, fam. I did not fall. Dad crashed and burned. As not All right, let's go outside and see if we can, cause Mom wants to ride it too. So let's see. So we're testing it out outside. Not in the street. <sighs> okay. Merry Christmas. <laughs> you gonna try it? Okay, she's trying it in the street, y'all. Ah, uh, scared. You got it. Is that how you want to do a spin? Spin? There you go. You got it. I think mom wants to try it. I think I want to try it. Motorbikes. <laughs> you trying it? He did already. Don't oh, worry. It's in the house. <laughs> See if you can go forward. It's not. It's not really letting me go forward. It's just like you gotta put, push both your feet, like down, like point your toes down. <laughs> Look at Dad. He's a going. At this. That you're trash, bro. Alright, do a spin, Dad. You spin it around. I gotta have my hands up to do that? Yeah. Okay. Spin it around. Alright, let's see how Addy can. Addy knows it. Uh oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> it is kind of hard to hop off. To hop off of it, yeah. Addy always get on backwards. Addie's a pro now. Look at her, guys. Addie's a pro. What time, what time it made me spin so hard? I think it's the harder you press on it. Yeah. Like I said, you're so light. You're like a super pro at this. I wish like I was this like cool. <laughs> so today is it's Monday, December 30th, and uh, today is the day of the burial. And y'all, these past two weeks have been somewhat stressful, but I don't even know what this is, y'all. Somewhat stressful, but in a sense peaceful like there's been a lot of things that have been annoying the hell out of me um, like I fucking find men so disgusting men are disgusting the day that we had to go view my mom's body which was Friday because the funeral was on, was on a Saturday and I noticed this when I you know when we initially had to meet with the um, funeral home people. There was this one disgusting fucking man. And uh, like it's so tasteless and so fucking like I can't even describe it. But he was flirting with me the entire time. And I'm like sitting here in my mind going like in my head I'm like 
you were so you were so unprofessional you were so unprofessional this woman here is grieving her mom just passed away which further indicates that these fucking people that do these jobs are just doing them to fucking get a paycheck like you don't give a fuck about people losing loved ones you don't give a fuck you just work there to say yeah i bring home the, like you it's just apparent and i like to even think i would be interested in you like the nerve of these fucking disgusting men the nerve to even think i would give you that irritated me because this was the first time that i had saw my mother's body like i my sister my sister and brothers had had seen my mom previously but this was after you know um she had been at the funeral home and they had dressed her up and you know there was like a issue with the, the the beautician um her hair wasn't done the way we requested it so like in the midst of me not seeing her fully prepared seeing my mom physically you know laying in a casket you have the the nerve to flirt with me like everybody else everybody else there was so professional so understanding like you can tell this slime ball was just fucking there it was just it was just a lot of things that annoyed me like people were acting like after the after the service like me and my sister had never we we never planned a funeral we've never paid planned a repast and you think that people would be understanding and you know just kind of sympathetic to you know maybe maybe they're going through a lot maybe so when we got to the repast like i had to find a cater a catering company last minute because the one that my sister initially wanted like that wouldn't have worked so i had given them the wrong time i had given her the time to come and set up at three at the venue so the funeral was over like 1 30 so my sister immediately like came to me and she was like you need to call the catering company and tell them to be there early because we're you know we're done so i was like okay cool went to the side like i'm i just had my mom's funeral and I'm doing all this myself so you would think that people would be you know empathetic like you know y'all we got to the repast and people were complaining that the food wasn't set up and the lady was like give me 10 minutes I'll set every like it was just so annoying it was so fucking annoying for to hear people complaining about food I just lost my mother you motherfuckers are complaining about food and y'all wonder why I don't fucking hang around family the situation with the makeup with the customer like I literally wanted to ball up and cry these past few days because people have been so shitty. People have been so shitty not understanding that we just lost our mother. God forbid you ever be in that situation to ever know what that feels like. For you to have the nerve to complain about something to someone that had just lost a loved one. Like, it irritated me so bad Saturday night that um, I didn't want to be around anybody. My cousin invited me over because she was like, we're all going to get together and, you know, fry fish or whatever. But I was just like, I'm so irritated by everything. I'm so irritated by people. I'm so irritated by people. The lack of empathy people have for other people is so... I would never, I would never complain about something so minor. Never. Other than that, it went smooth. Mama, mama would have liked how she looked, the service, the preacher. My mom's a real big Christian and she's into the church. Well, she was into the church. She would have loved the service. My dad was completely heartbroken the entire time. Like, I sat next to him. And, it's, y'all, this has been, I'm trying not to cry, but this has been so hard on me. Nobody knows what this feels like. Nobody. And I don't wish this on anybody. But, um, I'm trying to be strong because today is the actual, you know, we 
officially lay her to rest today and um, I got her picture. I got her picture over there. I don't know if you can see it easy. I got her picture over there, but I just wanted to keep that picture over because I found out that my mom was my age. I'm 33, she was 33 in that picture. And I just think my mom was one of the most gorgeous women. Like, if you if you saw pictures of my mom when she was young, girl, y'all thought I, y'all thought my makeup, y'all thought my clothes. Girl, my mom was the definition of a lady. I'd never seen my mom off her game. Not until she just recently got sick um, with her heart condition. I never saw my mama off her game, baby. My mama was always a lady. Always had her hair done. Always had her nails done. She always wore makeup. She always dressed really nice. I never seen my mom go outside with a bonnet or a hair scarf on. If she wore rollers, girl, it was in the house and that was it. But, I don't know. I'm just, Justin has been a really big help. He's been, he's been there 110%, which is, I love it. But, um, yeah. Hopefully, I can get through today. This is my dad's a veteran. Uh, she is going to be buried out here in the veteran cemetery. I thought I was gonna be stronger than this, but I'm not. It's so hard. Yeah, I have like a private moment to yourself, but. I don't think anybody can prepare you for this. I don't know if you can see it better this way, but yeah. She'll be, well, since we were over there, she'll be headed back towards this way. But we won't be able to see her until, well, I don't want to come see her until her tombstone comes. And he said that'll come in about three months. So, yep, daddy was a veteran. And whenever his time comes, he's just going to be out here with her. So, Man, I love that lady so much. She, I, I really, honestly, she knew. My mama knew. Mama knew. Oh, this is where mama will be laid. Oh, God. Daddy was a veteran, so this is where she'll be. And I won't be able to come out here and see her until probably March because that's when her headstone comes. So. Miss her. I'm gonna miss her so much.